Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna show you, how you can search or filter data in PHP using Ajax. Let's get started. Create a folder under your www or htdocs folder and give it a name, here I am giving, Ajax. Under this folder create a uploads folder. In this folder, we will keep our images. Drag this folder into your editor. Create a file under Ajax folder called index.php. Before writing the code, let's copy the Bootstrap CDN. Search Bootstrap for CDN on Google, and click on this link. Click this button and copy these CDNs and paste them into your file. Now let's create the filter code. Create a div with ID, filters, later we will add CSS using this ID. Under this div, open a select tag with a name attribute, and an ID, I'm using same name, fetchval for both the attributes. Give 5 options. First, select filter, and make it disabled and selected. Rest of the options are advertisement, technology, education and fashion. And for now, leave this value attribute empty. Now let's add some CSS. I am using internal CSS here. I am using Helvetica font here. Now create another div with class container after the filter div. This is the bootstrap class. Under this div open a table tag with a class called table, which is a bootstrap class. Give the table headings. These are the table's headings. Now we will add some text before the select option. Now let's style the div with ID filters. Now in another row of the table we will show our data. Leave these td tag empty for now. Create a config.php file to make the database connection. Make a variable called con and write the connection code. We will create a database called filters. Now let's create the database, filters, and under this db, create a table called post. I am defining the table columns here. As you can see we have created our table. Now we will include config.php file to our index page. Now we will fetch the data from the database using MySQLi queries. I am using MySQLi fetch association PHP function here. Close the while loop ending brace after the trn tag. Now I am displaying the data using td tag. Make sure you will use the same column name as you have used in your database. Now, I will insert the data in the database. Here. I am using the same data as in my existing database for insertion. Now I am exporting my existing table called post, and I will import this table to my filters databases table called post. Table post is imported successfully. As you can see data is fetched, but images are not shown. Now we will use img html tag here. As you can see it is still not showing the images. For displaying the images, we have to keep our images in the uploads folder. 
Let's put the images in the uploads folder. As we kept our images in the uploads folder, that's why we have to add the uploads folder name before the name of the image. Now, to make it look good and responsive, we have to give this img tag a class called img responsive and img thumbnail which is of bootstrap. And set its width to 150. Now, as you can see our data is properly fetched. Now, we will add jQuery Ajax. Use the select tag ID here. This code means, on changing the value of the select tag, it will display an alert box with the value of the select tag option that we choose to select. As you can see here our code is perfectly working but not displaying the value. So in order to display the value, we have to give a value to the value attribute. I am giving the same value as I used for option. Now, let's check again. As you can see it is now displaying the value of the select tag option. Now, let's add the jQuery Ajax. This code means, after changing the value of the select tag option the page will be redirected to the fetch.php. This data option contains a variable, called request whose value is the value of the select tag option. Before fetching the data based upon filter, we will show a text called working in the div whose class is container, using jQuery HTML method. When the data is fetched properly, then the data will be show in the div whose class is container, using jQuery HTML method. Now, create a fetch.php file under your Ajax folder. Now, we will write the code for fetch.php. First include the config.php file. Now, we will check that if the variable called request is set, then we will store it in the same name variable. Next, we will create a query to select the data from the database using where clause. This query means, we want that data to be selected whose title will be equal to the request variable's value. For example, if we will choose education from the select tag options, then that row whose the p underscore title column contains education, then that data will be fetched. We have to create a count named variable to check that if any matched data contains in the database, then the data will be fetched including tables headings, otherwise it shows no record message, and also tables headings will not be shown. Copy the table headings from the index.php file and paste it in your fetch.php file. You can see here, I have used count variables if and else braces only for tables headings. Now we will write the code to fetch the data. You can also put this part after the while loop end brace. Here, I am using MySQLI fetch association PHP function. Remove this while loop end brace from here. Copy the fetch code from index.php file and again paste it in your fetch.php file. Now, put the while loop end brace after trn tag. Now close if is it PHP function using end brace. Now, let's test the code. As you can see it is not working. Let's check the jQuery Ajax code. As you can see, we have not passed the data parameter in the success function. Let's pass it now. Now, let's test the code again. As you can see, our data is successfully fetched now. Now, I will choose fashion from the options. As you can see, it is showing no record message and table headings are also not visible. Data is fetching at a very fast rate. As we had add before Zen function in jQuery code, in which we had written, the text, working, and it is not showing here. To prevent this, we have to add a sleep PHP function in the fetch.php file.
Now, as you can see it is showing, the text, working. So, this is it for today. Hope you liked and learned something from this. If you do, then hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.